Hey, what's up, guys? Today is something different than normal. Uh, you, go, you guys know that I don't review rarely or never. I should review before a wrestling figure. In this case, I'm going to make an exception for many reasons among them. One, I'm going to explain you after I introduce you the figure today from Zombie Sailor Toys from the official wrestling heels and faces. We have Dan Housen. Uh, it is a wrestler for AEW. Um, interesting character. Uh, the gimmick is really cool, uh, f entertaining for sure. Is uh, also at the same time a great collector of toys and comics. And he does uh, uh, vlogs uh, when he goes toy hunting. He does unboxing. Really interesting character. And I have to say, it's very when when he's a wrestler, is very entertaining. With that being said. Um, I pre-ordered this figure about, I would say it was about one year ago, something like that. And it took a while. Um, it, they don't, it's the limited edition figure most of the times. And they're pre-ordered too. Um, this one was done also in advance a little bit because Dan Housen had in, in, an injury in his leg within a, a match. So they were collecting money for helping out with the medical expenses. And the thing turned out pretty good, actually. I think they sold a lot of them. Um, it's a really nice packaging, first of all, without showing it. Without showing it, I can tell you that already. Um, it's kind of sad you gotta open it, but you know me, I like to play with my figures. <laughs> I'm gonna try to save um, uh, the blister uh, as much as possible. Maybe one day get a sign too, you never know. It does signing very often in Toy Story or shows. Um, that being said, let's, let's have a look at the packaging. Uh, see, close. Okay, first of all, we have a very cool um, portrait of Danhausen, really cool in one of these poses. The figure looks really cool. I like the graphic of the packaging, kind of old school. Uh, of course, we have a signature from him, the logo, Zombie Seller Toys logo on the bottom. I like the logo also over here, and you're gonna see, of course, the figure in a second. When in the back, we have a, a card that you can cut like we used to do for the. Um, G.I. Joe's and some other figures too. Some points, I'm not sure how it works. Like I said, I'm not a collector of wrestling figures in general. Very interesting. They have a blueprint of the figure out they designed it, which is really cool. I like it, it's a clever idea. And they also mention all the people uh, participate to. This is a limited edition exclusive. Uh, it was about 40 bucks or something like that. Uh, these are all the figures that were delivered or designed around the time that the Nausen one was released. Of course, we have King Kong, King Kong Bounty, that I know. Under the Giant, Raven, the Nausen, of course, Jeff Jarrett, Sabu, uh, Matt Cardona, and Brian Myers, of course, Dino Bravo, Nick Cage, I mean, Bruiser Brody, uh, they're cool, and there's more coming out, and they're really, really good details on them. I um, really like it. Um, other than that, the exclusive, that I believe was available only could have the pre-order, but somebody bought, correct me. It's a really cool, uh, extra, very evil, very limited bonus housing accessory pack. <laughs> I like the graphic, it's cool. It comes with um, two extra hands, a jar of teeth, because he likes to do that, two money, money, and a bag of human money. So, cool, so that extra accessories, they look bad. That um, doesn't come with an accessory other than the cape, the figure. So this is a good interaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and open everything. I do apologize if I kind of stumble a little bit. I'm not doing normally wrestling figures, so I don't know what to say other than that. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox it. I'll be right back, okay? And I'm back. So first of all, let's have a look to the accessories. We have a jar of teeth. That's kind of it says hot beans, I think, on the label. It also, you can be open, can open it and remove it and feed the teeth to your adversary, like the Nausen does during the matches. I'll put it down right here for a second. Come with two stack of very evil money. This one has a slightly imperfection of paint, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this one. I don't know if you can see it's so little. Like that. So that one has a little imperfection of paint, not a big deal. Come with a bag of human money with, of course, the nose and face on it. Really cool effect on it, also. Very realistic. And it comes two extra hands 
that can hold the accessories that come with the jar and the money. Let's go have a look at the figure. First of all, um, I was actually shocked the detail. I, I never owned one of these and, and the thing that actually got my attention most of all is the stencil or whatever you want to call it with the tattoos that Dan Housen has and they're really, really accurate to the character. Did a really good job. And uh, then we have um, the pants that he wear all the time, black, his logo on the belt, some wrestling shoes, um, the face, good job on it, very reminiscent of him. Not a bad job with the paint job, a little bit. I'm assuming they wanna kind of replicate when he paints his face so it's not perfect. 100% on the edges, but it looks like him for sure. Going on the back, nothing much going on. So he can adjust his arm, of course. The cape is removable, he has a metal wire of, I don't know what material it is, with a Danhausen, one of the Danhausen artwork in the back. A bit of damage on it, really cool. You can pose like a spray in it or flying or something like that. Really cool. Good job with the haircut, actually. It looks like him. And other than that, it's a really cool figure. Um, like I said, I don't have any of this line, but if I was giving a, 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 a vote, I would be a 9.5 out of 10 for the accuracy to the character, uh, since I've had the chance to see it in action more than once in some pictures. So I don't have any other one, like I said, but this one, it, it, it is pretty impressive. They did a really good job. So this was my super quick review of the Zombie Sailor's Toys. Official wrestling heels and faces. Dan Housen. That was a very nice, very evil review. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. God bless you, and God bless America. Bye-bye.